here for you. I know that for a lot of people, it's a dream come true to canter their horse along a beach. But after this, we're heading straight into a rainforest. And not just any rainforest, the Daintree. And out here, it's the Great Barrier Reef. Two World Heritage Sites in one ride. I can't wipe the smile off my face. You'll find the Wonga Beach Equestrian Centre at Wonga Beach, of course. 25 minutes north of Port Douglas and just 10 minutes south of Daintree Village. You know, there really aren't many places in Australia where you can ride a horse on the beach as well as through a rainforest. And our guide, Jason Knapp, knows exactly how special that truly is. What's it like for your guests when they can not only bolt along a beach like this or walk, whatever tickles your fancy, and then they cut, cut into uh, the rainforest. Oh look, it's the best of both worlds for people. Yeah. Obviously, they uh, enjoy the beach component because obviously for its, its scenery. And guess what? You don't need any riding experience. There are horses for every single level. You can get a bit of a lesson if you need it, but trust me, you do need to wear comfortable clothes. But you can come out on your own as well if you like, or... You certainly can. You don't uh, have to be with a big group? No, no. We only take a maximum of 15 riders on a normal ride right. anyway. However, we do do a lot of exclusive rides, oh, which is that. where we have uh, a minimum of two guests and they have uh, their own private guide. And there are loads of opportunities to soak up the view and have your picture taken with your new best friend. After you trot, canter, gallop your way along the beach, whatever you're comfortable with, the journey continues right through the Daintree Rainforest, which sort of offers a totally different vibe. Such a beautiful, cool environment. It's all pristine lowland rainforest, exactly the same as the rest of the Daintree system. It's just beauty all around you. Exactly, exactly, and, and very, very peaceful and tranquil. The ride takes around about two and a half hours and you can go either in the morning or you can catch the afternoon sunset. Both are lovely. I've got to say, after bolting along the beach with my heart in my mouth and the adrenaline kicking in, this rainforest is like entering a cathedral. It's instant calm. I've now bonded beautifully with my new friend Jazz. And this is the most wonderful way to end the ride.